Hi, I'm Timothy Riley, and this is my video review of the Movie L 1830 8 inch nonstick skillet. Now, an 8 inch nonstick skillet is the pan that I use the most often in my kitchen, or maybe the second most often. And I use it for a lot of things. Obviously, for omelets, it's perfect for that, or any two or three egg dish. I also use it for hamburgers, a grilled cheese sandwich, and it's also great for a quick sauce. Uh, being wider than most sauce pots, it evaporates better and reduces. So this is a pretty common uh, pan in my kitchen. I love to use them. And over the years, I've bought quite a few of them. They usually seem to last two or three years, and then the nonstick just stops working or peels off. I usually spend about $20 or $40 on them. Uh, the 8-inch tends to be a good promo pan, so you can get them for a lot less than what they're worth. But I wanted one that's going to last a lot longer. If you keep buying them every two years, that adds up. And even though it's worth it, as often as I use it. I still wanted something higher quality that had a good feel to it. And I think I found it in the movie L. Let me mention a couple of things I like about it. First, the nonstick is great. You can look on their website and they'll give you all the technical details. But I have found no flaw in this. I've only used it for about three months, but I really put it through its paces using it several times a day. The walls are very thick. It's a nice lightweight aluminum pan. Nice shiny bottom there. And the handle is really nice. It's riveted on and has just a real good feel to it. And there we can get a close-up of the handle itself. Now one of the reasons that I like video reviews is that you can actually demonstrate how you use it and show the finished product. So I'd like to do that now. Let me show you a couple ways that I use this. Now I love to make omelets and this pan is perfect for omelets. Now I put just a little bit of butter on the pan, but look how nicely that omelet just slides out. Isn't that great? That's very, very nice. And this just wipes clean and you're ready to go for something else. Okay, what I decided to go for next was a mess. I made a hamburger with the cheese and melted onto the pan. I made it animal style, and if those of you from California who frequent a particular chain out there knows what that means. So I have burnt mustard on here and I, I let it cook too long so I can make a real mess. And I'll show you how easily this cleans up. Now what I do is run a little water into it. Take a spatula and look, everything just comes out without any effort, or without very much effort. That's how well this nonstick works. I mean, this was really a mess and really melted on there. With just a few swipes, I've got to clean. You can use this pan in the oven as well. And here I had some tiny little Dutch potatoes. And I put in the oven at about 400 degrees with some olive oil, shallots, garlic, and some herbs. Now you have to, of course, be sure not to grab the handle. Whenever I see a handle like this, for some reason, I want to grab it without always using a oven mitt, so you've got to watch out for that. And this makes a nice little side. Garnish it a little bit. Nice crispy potatoes. But it's nice that this pan can go both in the oven and on the stove. In conclusion, I think this is a great little skillet. I'll probably get some more in this line, but this is the one I'm going to use the most. I think it's certainly worth the money. I'm going to update this review every year or so and let you know how it's holding up. But for right now, I'll say I think this is a great investment. It was what I was looking for. I give it five stars. I hope this review was helpful. Thank you.